Hello and welcome back to Forgotten Hill Dissolution, this time for I think the final museum section, Sculptural Arts. Only I don't think it's really the final museum section because we're building something with this pocket watch down here. Hopefully we're going to find the last cog somewhere around this section. So, let's go looking. I think that might be the map. Right, so... Doesn't look quite as big as Sea Mysteries. What's going on with that padlock looking room up there past the eye? Dunno. I guess we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, so let's just go screen by screen, like I do, uh, and just click on everything. <laughs> Looks like we can go in there into the music room, is it? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Phantom of the Opera, right. Again, no photo for some reason. I guess I'm going to get a telling off if I try and click the camera. Oh, what's this? Ah! I have a bloodied cloth. It probably shouldn't say no photo, it should probably say no spoilers, because I think I'll be coming back in the other dimension. I think that's what the, uh, the sort of night and day thing is with the pocket watch. Right. Um, no instruments. And I saw an instrument, I saw a guitar above the door. Is that what you guys are missing? Feels like that's what you're missing. Unless, of course, you want to sort of, like, hold the cloth up like that. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I'll come back later on. So, yeah, let's go to the right. Again, like I've done previously, I'll come back and I'll use the camera where I can. It's very heavy and the wheels are rusted. I can't move it. Oh, right, the wheels. <laughs> Didn't even notice those. So they're rusted. How about a cloth? Can't wipe it off? No? Okay. Looks like I'm going to need a funky key to get this open and complete the puzzle inside. Again, not the cloth. Ah, uh, right. Let's keep on going. What's this? <laughs> I mean, they flickered. Maybe I should be clicking them. That's what I think. Okay, I can open that door. And that one. Right, so... The projector room? Is it a cinema? Uh, well... What have we got here? A couple of statuettes. One and four. There's two and three. Cupboards and drawers, but I don't think I can get them open. Oh no, don't tell me we've got power issues again. <laughs> oh no, I can drag these around! Oh damn, it's extendable? Are they Oh yeah, they're all like that, okay. That looks like a uh, like a coin slot or something. Man, if only I brought some change in with me. <laughs> Can't do anything with the gears and the cogs down there. Nothing that's going to fit into the uh, into the watch. No. Okay. See some cogs and stuff back there. Maybe connected with this puzzle. Uh, just out of interest. Does it say? Okay. I'm not seeing the question mark in a circle. Even the hint button's confused. I was just wondering if it was going to say something's missing. I'll come back later, because I'm not really sure what to do there. Uh, let's go into that room. With that, yeah. Whatever that is. Looks like there's a slot down there. I keep expecting to pull back the curtains. much to do at the moment. Keep on going. Oh, right. Okay. You know, I think I've seen a couple of you. I've seen one and four. Don't know about two or three. Maybe they're in the wrong order? Maybe I have to figure out which order it is and then I get a, like a four-digit password combination to something. Can't actually interact with them, right? No, I don't think so. Um, again, let's see. Any comment? Well, okay. Something's missing. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, that guy's looking down and seeing. What the fuck is this that I'm holding? And I've got no idea. Do you want to dip the cloth into that? Make it red? No. 
Is that a ballerina I think I'm seeing in the background? Yeah, the shadow. Wait. <laughs> a ballerina with a hammer, I think. Can't get in there. Can get in here. Let's go in. Alright. He's the ballerina? My head aches so much. Come on, boy. It's nothing. You'll see that it'll pass. Focus on the sound of the bell and sing to the beats. <laughs> or not. Can I grab the bell? So is that his son? Or has he just kidnapped someone? Okay... I guess we're done here, unless of course this is gonna help. And I don't think that's gonna help. Right, move on. Oh, and there's that Belzarite machine again. Alright, brilliant. Yeah, seriously, if only I brought change. I could probably skip half of this level, you know? Hey, look at this. Okay, so we got two and three. Right, I'm just going to do a couple of little stick drawings. <laughs> it could help, you never know. Ah, right, so we can change these symbols around. Sure, okay. So, I'm not seeing a sign that says no photo, so... <laughs> God damn, they really do get the worst of it, don't they? He's been disemboweled as well, he's dead. Statues aren't there, the machine is though, and it's the same one. No idea what the combination's gonna be. Let's uh let's go back. <laughs> there you go, that's an improvement. Still the same stuff though, whatever it is. Hmm, it's not a rope, it's a chain. Okay, well, what about this guy? Let's see him in his outfit. <laughs> oh wow. Ouch. No wonder your head hurts. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, the hammer! Oh! Oh, well. Yes, okay. Jesus. Got some symbols down there. Uh, might be worth noting them down, I suppose. Okay. Man, yeah, alright, uh, let's get the hell out of here, shall we? So we definitely can't go in there. Mm. Oh, wow. What the hell? Okay, so was it elephants and pigs? Yeah, they're not hands, they're trotters. Still can't do anything to them, I don't think, no. Hmm, alright. Let's move on. I guess that something is still missing. Uh, here? That's still there. That still looks out of place. Like sh I should be able to pick it up, but... Hmm. In here? Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's some weird lizard creature with eyes on its spines. And maybe on its leg. Sure. I don't think there's anything around here that's going to help me, so again, let's just go back. Back to the projector room. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay, so again, just noting down the poses for statues 1 and 4. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I recognize some of those poses. I've seen a couple before. Hmm. Let's take a look. Well, let's see. Can I take a look at this and then use... No, I can't. Uh, yeah, okay. Back here, then? Hmm. Oh. Oh, god damn. They really do get the worst of it. <laughs> Alright, until I can sort of, uh, you know, loosen the wheels a little bit, or, or move this out of the way, I don't think there's anything I can really do. Here? Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay. Oh! 
those symbols, right. So, it's a circle, a triangle, a spiral. Right, got it, okay. Oh, lovely. Alright, um, I was gonna go back into that room actually, but there's no photos allowed, right? Because I guess the guy is looking over my shoulder. Yep, no photos allowed here. He's always in my case. Until I'm, you know, disrupting the power and destroying the exhibits, then he doesn't give a shit, as people have pointed out. That's a good point, too. Right, so... Let's see, what do we got? So, the circle? Just like a normal circle, right? That'll do. Triangle. Spiral. And then... That's the one! What's this? I got a card. Oh, uh, for the projector room? That symbol was on one of the things I could move around, I'm pretty sure. There. Ah, uh, what? What? Oh. Oil. Oh, for the wheels, I guess. Well, hang on, though. We are actually project. Yeah, we're projecting something here. Oh. Only on the left side of this thing, but okay. Uh, are they all going to do this? I assume so. We're probably going to have to make up an image. I'll have to find some more cards. Yeah, okay. That's it. Just that. Okay. So if I go this way, and then I use that there. Can I move this out of the way now? Alright! <laughs> that sounded kind of squishy, but I suppose it would. Okay, so yeah, this, this eye room. Let's see. I, well, thank you. <laughs> I was trying to take a better look at it, actually. I see you, do you? Oh, hideous. <laughs> Looks like a stripped chicken with an eyeball at the top, you know? Um, yeah, you see me, do you? So... Alright, if I put this away, I can move you out of the way. I'm not looking behind you. Do you want this? No? Oh, you do! I... I cover the eye! I cover the eye! And... wait, um, what? I've got marbles now. I thought, if anything, that was going to unlock the door, because he wasn't seeing me, but... Okay, uh, marbles. Was that thing back here made of marble? Not that. That. Same material, right? No, oh, it doesn't fit there. Oh, but it does fit there! Okay. Hang on. Where were those eyes? Okay, well there's five marbles. We've got five eyes, so... Can't put one there, but yeah. And the other one was the one at the top. No? Is that not it? Or maybe it's the closed eyes? One, two, three, four, five. Ah uh ha -huh, ha, maybe. see. That would just move down, wouldn't it? So... Hey! Oh, yeah, there you go. Another card. And again, yep, yeah, back to the projector room. Uh, which is actually next door. So... That one over there? Hey. And that opens another drawer. And we get a key. This way. Maybe over here? No. Hmm. What else have I seen? That's locked. That well, you know what that door in here? No. What 
else. And that was voice saying. There was nothing in there that was locked. I can't unlock any of this. No, there's no keyholes there. It doesn't fit into that slot or anything? No, okay. Oh, I'm forgetting things. Can't be here. Oh, maybe this door? Ah, forgot about that door. Right. You all just moved as I came in. That was kind of strange. Oh, we're swapping them around. Oh, I see. I guess there's some sort of arrangement. You need to be all up high, or all down low, or all somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Do we put the sharp heads on the left or something? Like, like that? Maybe that's it. If we can get them all to that level, or all that level. Is that one at that level? Maybe. Let's see, let's just do some moving around. Just out of interest. Nothing happens. Go on. Ooh, okay, well I can do it now, so... Yeah, let's see if we can balance these out a little bit. I got three in a row, and they all look like they're perfectly level. Four in a row. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it, but yes, okay, great! Another card! And what's that? An eye? Oh, I think I know where that eye goes. Yeah, 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 so... In here, the eye goes there. Yes! I guess he's pleased. Alright, maybe this place is a little bit bigger than I first thought. <laughs> uh, yeah. Floor one, minus one, or minus two. Is that... I think that's a keyhole. Minus one, I suppose. <laughs> this is pretty good, actually. I like this one. Nice hairdo. Okay, we got a book. Forgotten Hill Museum Sculpture Collection. Go on. So, oh god, that's a word. A statue of Tez Polilokel Iatlok. Depiction in Andesite of the god Tez Polilokel Iatlok. According to the Aztecs, with its three pairs of eyes, it could see all the evils of humanity. To appease their anger, the Aztecs organized a ceremony that culminated in the burning of prisoners who, before dying, were extracted from the flames and whose hearts were removed. Delightful. Uh, Kikomokoatl, statue in vo volcanic rock representing the Aztec goddess of corn and fertility. In the harvest period, a young virgin was sacrificed, beheaded, and her blood shed on the statue of the deity. One of the finest pieces in the collection. It was donated to the museum by Victor Ostergaard so that everyone could admire it. There's the fallen angel, which we kind of uh, busted by pushing it over. All right. It suffered severe damage during an earthquake and a couple of minutes ago. The Sincere Cheetah. Right. Truth is not always the only right way. What's important is never change your mind halfway. The Scared Maid. <laughs> no tentacle coming out of her eye this time. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, so we can go left. That's like, yep, we're just exploring this floor now. And I guess that's the extent of it. Okay. Uh-huh. Have we got every single number here? I think we probably do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have six. We've got two nines instead, unless we can swap them around. Well, it's got to be a hundred and something, right? Can I do this now? I mean, I guess I could. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm assuming it's something like 84 plus something until you get 125. 
Man, if this is it, I'm the luckiest man alive. It's not it. <laughs> Actually, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Like, moving any of those around really wouldn't change too much, unless, of course, I, I changed that one. Uh, so, what's the total number you can make? Like, let's see. If this was 99, and then you add all the biggest numbers, what we got? So you get the 8, and 7, 24, 123. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm on a roll. I got two cards. And I've got a jar. Can I put the cards in the jar? No, I can't. <laughs> what are these little guys doing here? Okay. This could be referring to a puzzle that we won't get to play with for a while. I don't know. Um, what about the elevator itself? Can we have a look at that? Right. Yes. Okay. That looks the same, worryingly. That book's different. If only I could reach through and read it, maybe it would explain some things. Okay, let's go in here, and uh, I can't use the camera, unfortunately, and I guess until I find the key, I can't go down to minus two, so back up to the first floor. I wonder if the elevator doors are a clue to something with those eyes. Maybe. Uh, anyway, yeah, the cards. So, in here, so that goes there, is that it? Usually a, a drawer or a cupboard opens or something, you know? Right. Oh, well, well, there you go, I suppose there was only three. I got a sheet! Great. Um, <laughs> let's take a look at this, though. So... That doesn't display anything on the right side. What about this? Nor does that. Okay. So the two on the right have to stay on the right somewhere. And the two on the left have to do the same. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, what's the jar for, I wonder? What goes in the jar? back here. I think you guys should be holding instruments, not jars, but what about sheets? Do you want to hold a sheet? No. This button doesn't really help most of the time. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't rely on it too much. Uh, okay. Still need to find the right key to get that open, I suppose. So I'm not really sure what to do in there. That. Is that of interest? Yeah, can I pull this again? Oh, okay, so maybe we'll have to have a look at this guy again, for some reason. Do you want a sheet? Uh, let's just get rid of that. No. Scoop up the eyeball in the jar. No, that's not it. Uh, keep on going. Something missing? No! I've got what I need. Ah! That just moved, didn't it? Yes, it did. Ah, right. Okay, well, I've got these little stick figure drawings for a good reason. Uh, so, the first one, assuming they're all in order, should look a little bit like that. Second one. Nope. Correct. Uh, actually, the third one I got right. It's just this one. Nope. Not quite. Hey! Hey, that looks like something I could maybe project. Uh, sure. Okay, so... Vertical... Circles... Line... Yeah, that's doable. That's doable. In here. Let's give this a try. 
So, yeah, I suppose you want that centered, roughly, like there. Should it be thinner? Should I should have taken a photo. Maybe I should go back and take a photo. Although I can't refer to it here, annoyingly, so it's not going to help too much. It was something like that, right? Let me just go take another look. Yeah, okay, I mean, I, it feels like I kind of got that, or I got close enough to complete the puzzle, if this is a puzzle. Oh, now it's gone and reset, son of a bitch. Okay, so that's definitely like that. Surely this is what I need to do. Oh no, don't tell me I just like missed something here. Oh, you s <laughs> So I guess I can't complete it unless I'm holding this. Right, so taking a photo. Yeah, you don't take a photo because you can't look at it. But you could have a look at this down here. Motherfucker. Right. Third time's the charm, right? That's got to be about halfway up. There you oh, right. There you go. Ah, a mandolin, our first instrument. Not the last, I assume. And there's also a key. Okay, well, let's get rid of the mandolin. And maybe that's where the key goes? Hey, it is, I think. Yes! Seen that before as well. I noted it down. Roughly. Anyway, so that, this is a plus. Yep. And then these are all pointing down to this one, which is pointing up. Hey! What's this? Okay. Oh, right. Um, I guess three of those are down there in the statue. Unfortunately for them. Anyway, yeah, let's get rid of this mandolin. Who plays the mandolin? You? Yes. Uh, I guess I'll come back when I found the others. I assume you've got like a flute or something because you're holding something to the side. Have you got a harp? Maybe. I don't know. Right. How about we take a look at not those statues, but the other ones in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. got to be to do with these, right? They're all on... Yeah, they're all on the same level, but they're different heights. But we can't switch these around. I assume if we did, that would open. Oh, go on, game. Okay. Alright, I actually feel kind of good about that. Something's missing. I'm not being a fool. Oh shit, that's what it's for? The, okay, we've got a jar of meat. That's meat, apparently. He still looks absolutely disgusted. Right, is this going to help with your headache, I wonder? Have some meat. <laughs> uh, no, can't give you any meat. Have you seen any of these people? Yeah. Um. Would you like some meat? Mmm, tasty. Uh. It's kind of getting to that point again. Did I have a look at these? Oh. Oh, there you go. That's it. It's definitely them. Never actually had a look in the, this room with the camera, though, did I? Something's missing, I assume. No, hang on. Well, I, uh, this? The jar with the meat. Oh. Oh, I have to I have to feed the statues and that makes them go down. Is that like a reset or something? Like yes, okay. I'm sorry those two don't get any, but um <laughs> Okay, let's let's have a look at this then. So Okay, so that one 
stands tall. Everyone else goes down by one, I guess, so... Okay, so you're the tallest. And then these two, they look like they're about the same height. So... What is it? Two, two and six. Everyone but two and six goes down. Or two, six and seven, they don't go down. Okay. And then... One and five go down. Yes! Okay, what's this? A talisman, and that's, again, something I should be able to project. I've actually picked that up, yeah, okay. <laughs> right! So... There. Here again. It always bloody resets, that's fine. Uh, so, vertical line, so... Same as last time, about there. There's only two circles. Interesting, okay. Does this one have to get involved? Maybe it does? Yeah! Wow, okay, it does. Got a key? Got a flute. So it was a flute, right. So... in here? You have the flute? Yep. Just need to find you a, a harp or something, maybe. We'll see. Got a key. Got a key. Um, already opened that up. Did that. I assume there's nothing else in there. Oh, that's right. What about the door in here? Ah! Truth and falsity. Wait, didn't I read about you? There we are. The Sincere Cheetah, a stone statue found in the forest north of the small Norwegian village of Notodrum. It depicts Visloki, the spirit on which lost souls rely to guide them. It is said that his motto was, Truth is not always the only right way. What's important is never change your mind halfway. So if he's pointing in one direction, he's, uh, he's probably leading me to my doom. So I want to go that way. Oh, hang on. I like your eyes, but actually, I think I like... I like that, so that... Are you telling the truth? The doors don't actually exist, so I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe? Uh, okay. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Right. We're in that strange part of the map that looks like a padlock, aren't we? Well, what the hell does that mean? Let's go this way? Dunno. Okay. Um. Oh, it's changed. Oh no, that- hang on, that's- right. I'm just gonna make a note of this so I don't forget. Probably won't. That's- that's falsity, isn't it? But there was that other symbol. I don't know what that other symbol was. Well, okay. Let's go this way. I haven't been sent back to the beginning, maybe that's good. Okay, so you're telling the truth, so this way. So last time I went the opposite to where he was pointing, and I went back to the beginning, so let's go this way? I guess I'm still on the right path? Follow his finger? Yeah. Truth? Truth? Keep following the finger. But not this time, because that's false. That way. <laughs> okay. Right, so. What's this? Oh, I see. Uh, so what do we got? Four of each head. Four of each head. Can't drag these down, no. Uh, is this like a Sudoku with heads instead of numbers? Not 
really sure, to be honest. Really feels like I should be able to drag these up and down, but I guess I can't. So if you were there, you were there. We gotta get like a line of these heads. Like we gotta get the columns. Game? Could you okay, can you? Right, well, okay, apparently I can do it. I guess it's meant to be self-explanatory, but I don't really want to go down the wrong path and get confused. So maybe this one time I'll actually get a hint. Yeah, okay, so we are creating columns of heads, different heads. Yep, okay. Um can I, like, reset? Because I probably fucked it up a little bit. Okay. So, let's get all that guy's heads on the left, and then we'll get that guy's, and then we'll deal with, uh, the maid and the Zora-looking woman. I don't know. Okay. One column done. In theory, I shouldn't have to touch them ever again, so... If I just move those around like that... Yeah, that would kind of work. Okay! Just these to deal with now. Um... Yeah. Hey! Okay! <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, again, I'm seeing some symbols I recognize. So we're going horizontal with the line. Yeah. That's probably doable. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, there's teeth in there. Nice. Again, just to confirm. Uh, can't pull back the curtains or anything? No. Why do I think that's going to be a thing? I don't know. Are we done here? I guess we're done here. Right back to the beginning. Good, because to be honest, I don't know which way I came. <laughs> down here. And back again. Projector room. That's the one. Yeah, I quite like this one, actually. It's not quite as complicated as Sea Mysteries was. Or it's not quite as slog to get through because of the power. Um... Let's see then. Okay, right. Yeah, fiddly, but I got there in the end. And look, we've got yet another key. Oh, and a tambourine! Oh, it was a tambourine you were hitting? Okay, right. So. Uh. What just happened? Anything? I really want to take a photo. <laughs> I got a key with E on it. Oh, E for the elevator? God, I forgot about the elevator then. Uh, so, yeah, probably because I uh, need to pull the chain again. I've been hiding it away. That goes there. Yes. So, minus two. What are we going to find? Uh, a couple of the statues look like that. Looks like there's an envelope down there, but I can't, I can't grab it. Okay. This way? Hey, nice to see you too. Thanks. Okay. Ah, uh, you're not really looking at me. Kind of winking at me though. <laughs> Alright. So we got a pickaxe. <laughs> well, I guess there's a, a couple of uh, mannequins, statues, and stuff that I could just tear to pieces. Don't put that into your eye or anything. Uh, what about you? No. 
There was no like X marks to spot on the wall or anything. Let's go back up to minus one. I feel like there's unfinished business down there. Yeah. What with the little statuettes down here? I can't pick them up. Can't destroy them with a pickaxe. Do I hit that? No. Something's obviously meant to go in each of these. But I don't know what. Whatever it is, I haven't got it. Okay, so back up to the first floor. Um, right, well, let's see. Let's just start to destroy things. Right to the eye, no? Can't take the marbles out or anything, right? No, no, okay. Uh, is this how I get to that machine? <laughs> Maybe that's how I get it to work. Destroy those. Nope. Um. <laughs> Maybe the guy in there wants a pickaxe instead of a hammer? Then he can really do some damage. Ah. Oh, so many things that I could just plunge this pickaxe into, but nothing's really working. No, okay. Well, yeah, let's see. There you go. Give me that bell. I don't know why I want it, but I want it. Uh, come back later. In here. Can I destroy these? No, I can't. And it's probably for the best as well, because they're not really statues. Poor bastards. destroy that. This thing. Oh, yes! I took the head! I've got the head! Wait, hang on. Oh, I took his head! Oh, I'm so sorry! Alrighty then. Um, maybe that's the answer to his headache? I don't know how or why, but... <laughs> no? you say? My head aches so much. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, focus on the sound of the bell and sing to the beat. He doesn't really look like he's in the mood. Understandably. Okay. Just sort of relying on this question mark hint button, really. Tell me what I need to do. Or, or where I need to look. Are you serious right now? Nothing. You're giving me nothing. And of course I got rid of the pickaxe so I can't tell what's inside these. Nothing good by the looks of that. Just out of interest, can we, uh, can we just leave? Yeah. We can just get the fuck out of here. Maybe! Maybe the head goes somewhere else? Can we go right back to the very beginning? Man, we can! Holy shit! Did I I never got that room open, did I? <laughs> the head's not doing it. Oh, god damn you rat! Yeah, alright, I'll get an exit ticket at some point, you son of a bitch. It... I don't think we should cross-contaminate the item, so to speak, you know? It, I mean, we probably should just stick to sculptural arts. Probably. Can I just put it back? Let's say it was a mistake. There you go. <laughs> uh... Music score, right? I knew that looked odd. It looked out of place. It looked usable, but I couldn't pick it up. So there you go. Right, music score. That's what's missing from the music room, the instrument room over here. That goes there. Boom. Wow, okay. 
Uh, I'm not hearing too much from the tambourine or the mandolin, but... Cool. Sounds like I'm playing Rock of Ages. <laughs> you, uh, you know what? This guy. Uh, this guy with the bell. Is this what you were after? Ah, heavenly. It's such a beautiful symphony. I have to listen to it in my studio. Wait, you've got a studio? Help me, please. I wish I could. I really do. So he's gone. He didn't leave his hammer behind or anything. Uh... Genuinely, where is where's his studio? Nothing to do with that, I guess. Maybe it's on another floor. Yeah, let's see. Let's go down here. You know what? That that room that I tried to get into at the beginning? Maybe it is there. The one that we just tried like a couple minutes ago. Let's go back up here. Because I don't think it's in Sculptural Arts, because, you know, we've explored everything. We've been everywhere. Here. No, it's still locked. Didn't I have a book about this guy? Uh, Forgotten Hill History, was it? Not quite. It was one of these. Prominent families of Forgotten Hill, possibly. No, that wasn't it. One of these. Museum Creators, that's the one. Okay, so... Gustav Melor, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't mention anything about an office or anything. No. Maybe it's somewhere in here that I just haven't seen it. Well, I mean, we, we fully explored sea mysteries in the flora and fauna area, right? So... That way... Okay. Go on. Check out the book to learn more. Oh, I did. Well, I've, I've been through this. Gonna get another one. Gotta be cheeky. Let's get another one. Look at the statue with the camera to see if he tells the truth. If the mark is unclear, remember what you did the previous move. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did, definitely. Go on. Hit me with all three. Oh. So there's... Are there two endpoints to this? Maybe. If he's telling the truth and he wants me to go that way, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll be like, fuck you, I'm going this way. And I'm gonna go away. Okay. And again away from his where he's pointing. And again. And again. Uh, truth is that way. I don't want the truth. So, that way. Falsity. I actually want to go this way, I think. That way. That way. Right! Well, it's another room I didn't know existed. Fucking thanks, map. Um, Amanita Paralucidum. 
Oh, I read about that in Flora and Fauna. That actually might help the, the kid with his headache, right? Or at least I hope so, because I can't think of anything else. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Uh, maybe I'll need to go to the other section and sort of, like, grind it up or something, but... Where is the little bugger? There he is. The pain's easing, yes! I think it hurts less! You think it hurts less? Let's see. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I'm a bit better. Keep this coin! It's all I have! But you've still got nails in your head, so... <laughs> right, this bloody coin. It's all about these coins. Boom. Oh, okay, old school. Uh-huh. No? Alright. Oh, I'm s I get it. It's, yeah, I just can't do it when he's looking at me, I think? <laughs> Fuck! God, I got greedy! <laughs> nice! Now let me hear the right ticking. Let me, the right ticking. Okay, that was kind of cool. Ooh. Ooh! This wasn't on the map. The incredible inventions of Mr. Clockwork. Jebediah Clockwork, lovely. Specialized in the construction of safes, sophisticated combination locks, and entertainment devices. Thanks to his incredible abilities, he was able to observe and interact with a parallel reality. His date of birth is unknown, but we can find his creations in all the buildings of Forgotten Hill since at least the mid-1800s. The spectroscope, which we've been using, right, yeah. It allows to amplify the human perception, right. So this thing is a spectrum diverter. Right. It's a small object similar to a watch, but that with a simple touch can transfer the one who owns it from one reality to another. Co-generator, right. That's that thing just outside. So that goes there, that would go there, that goes there, and six. Okay. The evil eye safe. Almost impossible to break into. It can only be opened by making sure that evil is not able to see. So maybe we just sort of like cover the eyes. Okay. Ah. Right, so. What? Is this the same place as before? What happened? There you go. We've uh, we've gone to the other dimension, haven't we? <laughs> and now we see our reality. We have stepped through. We've gone beyond the veil. I like it. Okay, let's just see. Ooh. I like it a lot. Just out of interest. Can I... I can now go back and forth. Okay. Well, I don't think we want to be on this side. Not at the moment. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for joining me on the tour of the Forgotten Little Library and Museum, but it's not over yet. Now, what I think we need to do is go through these sections again, seeing the other side of things, completing the other side's puzzles, and maybe on the other side, this side, we'll find the exit ticket. And we'll get the fuck out of here and never return. <laughs> See you next time. What's going on with that padlock looking room up there past the eye? <laughs> I mean, they flickered. Maybe I should be clicking them. Uh, let's go into that room. With that, yeah. Alright. <laughs> God damn.
They really do get the worst of it, don't they? Do you want this? No? Oh, you do! I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it, but yes, okay, great! Okay, we got a book. Forgotten Hill Museum Sculpture Collection. Go on. So, oh god, that's a word. Man, if this is it, I am the luckiest man alive. It's not it. So you get the 8, 7, 24, 123. <laughs> Something missing? No! Oh no, don't tell me I've just like missed something here. Oh, you s <laughs> Maybe it does? Yeah, wow, okay, it does. Keep following the finger. But not this time, because that's false. That way. <laughs> okay. Hey. That goes there, boom. If he's telling the truth and he wants me to go that way, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll be like, fuck you, I'm going this way. Well, it's another room I didn't know existed. Fucking thanks, map. Ah. Fuck! God, I got greedy. I like it. Okay, 